John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Father, thank you so much for sending your Son, Jesus, to the cross that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Lord, help us to live the gladness and grace of Resurrection Sunday every day. Let us have hearts of thankfulness of your sacrifice. Let us have eyes that look upon your grace and rejoice in our salvation. Help us, Lord, to walk in that mighty grace and tell your good news to the entire world. Heavenly Father, thank you for your gift of forgiveness. Give us all the strength to just be still and receive the mercy and grace that you've provided to all of us through your Son, Jesus. I praise you, Heavenly Father, for your power, your presence, and purpose in my life. I confess my unbelief and unwillingness to press on when hope seems dead. Oh God, please pour out your Spirit afresh on all of us. May the resurrection power of your Son shine forth in my life and in the lives of my loved ones. I pray this prayer in faith. It's already done. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, family. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I want to read from Psalms 100 today. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and we not ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him, and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endured to all generations. Thank you, Lord God. We just want to say hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus, as we celebrate this Passover, this Resurrection Sunday, the day that you got up, the day that you rose up for us, victorious. Thank you, my Lord God. It was so good to see baptisms happen today, Lord God. I thank you for the baptisms that happened in my family today, Lord God. And it is truly significant to everybody that went in that water. They went down one way and came out another. They came out new creations in you, fully dedicated to you, Lord God. Thank you so much, Jesus, that that's the way you are to us. You are fully dedicated dedicated to us. You sacrificed everything for the Father's will to be done and for our redemption. So I pray today, Lord God, that we, as your people, the sheep of your pasture, will humble ourselves under the mighty hand of God and truly submit to you all of our lives, our every step, even our love walk with others, Lord God. Help us to be forgiving as you are forgiving to us. Help us to be compassionate as you are compassionate to us. Help us to be merciful as you are merciful to us. You didn't die for us to stay the same. You died to give us new life. We have been made the righteousness of God in Christ. You consider us saints, not sinners. When tomorrow comes, Lord God, we'll still be mindful to know who we are in you because of who you are to us. Our Lord, our Savior, our gentle Redeemer, our King, and our best friend. Lord, we give you us. We give you our families. And we give you all our cares. And we thank you for taking that burden, the full burden of our lives, on you. Thank you, my Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord God. And we just want to thank you. Amen.